So the hype for GTA 6 is starting to pick up once again. A lot of people are now talking about it once again. And I got a video that I want to share with you because apparently people are saying that GTA 6 is going to be super realistic. It's going to be ultra realistic where, you know, you're walking around and if you jaywalk, the cop's going to give you a ticket. Bruh. Yeah, that kind of realism. We're going to get into it. Like the video if you just want to see this game come out in 2025. Dislike the video if you want the game getting delayed. I want to know where you at. Roll it. <laughs> Duh! I love it! When I remember my first time playing Grand Theft Auto V, I remember the heist, the drama, yeah. and the sheer... I remember the first time when I was playing GTA V, my parents were fighting in the in the background. Yeah. <laughs> true, uh, a true story. True story. Not even making it up. True scale story. of the world, from the vast mountains of Blaine County to the sunny beaches of Los Santos. However, amidst all of its highlights, the attention to detail is what hooked me. Sure, yeah. moving shipping containers in the campaign wasn't fun. However, seeing light pollution in the city, making mm. it harder to observe the stars, or perspiration staining a character's clothes as they run for extended periods was mind-boggling. Dude, no lies, GTA 5 on the PS4 when we got the next-gen version, right? Seeing the light pollution like that, it looked like real life at that point, at that time. Yeah, absolutely. Like the video if you agree. Despite the technical limitations of console hardware but at the time, Rockstar wrung out every last bit and delivered an experience still praised and selling millions. Mm. This wasn't smack dab in the middle of the console cycle either. The PS4 and Xbox One would be released in that same year. Yeah. To say their launch titles had a tough job living up to Grand Theft Auto V's level of quality is an understatement. And right now there are leaks going around that GTA 6 is currently running at 2K resolution with 30 FPS. <laughs> I will link you that video because there's a guy that came out and leaked the trailer and he also got caught apparently i'm not talking about the september 2022 leak yeah that that 17 year old leaker he got chained up he's locked up right and we don't even know where he's at yeah rockstar they got the aliens involved the fbi involved they had 20 star wanted level on the guy they even had the aliens involved like i said but then there was another guy that leaked the trailer for gta 6 he also just got caught i will link you that video towards the end all right wait for it but we're here with 30 fps of course, there were jokes that the sequel would get too realistic, with detailed tire-changing minigames or other day-to-day -day activities that players seek escapism. Yeah. Part of the humor is that some didn't think Rockstar could go that far, but also that if there was any developer dedicated enough to do so, then it could. Mm. Though it's still a ways off launching- Yeah, imagine you getting a ticket for jaywalking in this game. Imagine, even better, even better. Imagine you getting a ticket in GTA 6 for crossing red light. I, I can't. In fall of 2025, the journey to Grand Theft Auto 6 has been long. It follows years of rumors about multiple protagonists and cities, of the franchise returning to Vice City, but in modern times, of development being rebooted in 2020, and chaos overall. Hmm. Long, he says, bro. We waited years for this, damn it. Years for this, bro. Decade plus, bro. It has been longer than long, bro. Though Rockstar hasn't explicitly outlined everything we can expect, much less what's going on beyond the lead pairing, its reveal trailer is rife with details. Some of these potentially line up with a report by Rockstar Magazine in October of 2023. The latter noted real-time physical simulated water, Sheesh. which allowed for things Sheesh. like surfing, higher polygon counts for vehicles with more precise deformations, physics-based rendering, and more realistic textures and sunrises. Mm. Though the publication couldn't 100% confirm if these features would make it in at the time, the trailer's quality dispels some doubts. Uh -oh. Some of the things we didn't see, like the report. You imagine, imagine that sunset that we saw or the sunrise. It's not in the game. <laughs> yeah, what are we saying here? It's gonna be right. And one of the ex Rockstar game dev also came out. He was reacting to trailers and he was saying uh, his words, not mine. He said that, and a lot of people are familiar with it. And if there is only one company that you can trust, it would be Rockstar Games with it, right? And the, 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 the ex-dev was saying that everything you see in the trailer is running in engine. It doesn't mean that it's like a real, real gameplay, but it's running in engine, which means that's the progress. That's currently where they are at. And I believe that. I really do believe that because I remember seeing the GTA 5 PS3 trailer. 
the very first one all the way back in 2011 and, and you could see like pop-ins happening right like at the time it was crazy don't get me wrong but now you look back at it you go back and see it you see like pop-ins and it looks very very like unfinished because it literally was unfinished and this uh, version that we saw is also an unfinished one so I wonder the final product is gonna be way better than that absolutely I shouldn't say way better I should say it would be better than that because I I, I don't know how well how much better in terms of graphics they can get because it's looking very good GTA 6 graphics are looking very good so I don't know how more real-time weather system which causes waves on the beach or wind affecting vegetation and even impacts driving also seems possible it may seem unreasonable to take a trailer's visual quality at face value but it's a part of Rockstar's pedigree what you see is what you get Exactly, yeah. That's Ignoring what all that the technical feats, the sheer attention to detail is incredible to behold. From the pedestrians filling the street. Yo, I realized that they didn't add that that club uh, scene. That yeah, yeah. Like as soon as I saw the cars rolling, I was like, Yo, where's that scene? Like, why are we not seeing that? You know the scene where it feels like that. It was like I show speed's birthday. Yeah, that's the scene. They they cut it out from the trailer. Crazy. It just uh, wow. I, I think they're really going after the realism of the game, huh? It's too recognizable restaurants and buildings like the Kaseya Center. Despite brief glimpses of the same, Grand Theft Auto 6 definitely seems like a step up. Even with more than a year yeah, before yeah. its launch, the hype is palpable. <laughs> Yet the question arises, much like it did back in 2013, is it possible to get too realistic? Flashback to Red Dead Redemption 2 when it Sheesh. launched in October of 2018. Sheesh. Though it gained Sheesh. extensive acclaim for its story, characters, visuals, and much more, complaints about the realism began to grow. Perhaps it was just the era of the time, but the tediousness of skinning animals that you hunted, yeah. caring for and managing your horse or... Listen, for Red Dead Redemption, although I only played this game for one hour, I still gotta find time and finish it. Bruh. I hear nothing but praises. Uh, I, I wanna know from you, like, if you played the game, do you recommend it? Like, from a, on a scale from 1 to 10, how much do you recommend somebody, uh, a chap like me, to play this? Uh, somebody that have not played it to play this game. I played one hour and... I'm putting it aside, I don't know why, like, I, I need to play it, I need to, and the armor that I played, I liked it. And for a game like Red Dead Redemption, yeah, realism, absolutely. For a story, absolutely. I think that realism definitely didn't, uh, the realism is what killed its online, and, uh, yeah, people don't like its online the way they love GTA Online, right? Of course, some people prefer Red Dead over GTA, I'm not talking about that, I'm talking, like, generally speaking, right? Like, the masses don't like Red Dead the way they love GTA Online, the masses, not uh, some of you probably prefer Red Dead over GTA, and that's fair. That's you. You do you, boo boo. But uh, but but yeah, I, I would say for a franchise like Red Dead, I hundred and ten percent want realism. For GTA's sake, story can have realism, but also fun. Uh, GTA is a parody of real life, right? I, I don't think they're gonna go too crazy in terms of realism, but they're also gonna make sure there is realism in it, right? Just like how we have seen in the past with GTA 4, GTA 5, and all the GTA games, right? GTA 5 more on the side of fun and realism. GTA 4 more on the side of real realism if that makes sense but uh, i i feel like that gta has a perfect blend of fun and realism uh, yeah i like that uh, red dead nothing wrong with it either just make it ultra realistic going forward as well yeah like Keeping the protagonist video arthur morgan in decent shape started getting to some players he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm Despite being two different franchises, they still echoed concerns about Grand Theft Auto V's realism from way back when. And yet, to this day, fans are still discovering details that they missed on their first playthrough in Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, still, crazy game. it is worth pondering what the endgame could be. How much more realistic can you get? Yeah, uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god, this game had that? That's Somebody insane, man. An idiot. Love it, love it. Brave love it. man. I'll be quiet, you moron. The initial scope of the project reportedly sought to go even further. According to a Bloomberg report, the only memory, the crazy memory that I have about this game is when there was a clip that went viral of Red Dead Redemption 2 where, you know, you, there's like, I believe, a fat lady that you feed to an alligator. And I know a lot of people were talking about it. Video was going viral. People were praising. And also a lot of people were having a meltdown as well. Like, how dare you let a fat, uh, an alligator eat a fat lady? And GTA 6 trailer does what? Rockstar does what in GTA 6 trailer? They show alligators. 
<laughs> they they show, <laughs> they show alligators. So uh, a coincidence? I think not. From 2022, it was meant to feature large portions of North and South America, but scaled down, with avoiding crunch being one of the core reasons. What? Rumors are According to a Bloomberg report from 2022, it was meant to feature large portions of North and South America, but scaled down, with the oh, yeah. crunch being one of the core reasons. Rumors also discussed plans for three cities and four protagonists per Steven Totilo in the same year, subsequently Damn. reduced to one, Miami, and two protagonists. Yeah, and we heard this from Jason Schreier as well, that GTA 6 is going to be a smaller game in comparison to Rockstar standards, but it's still gonna be a big game, make no mistake. And then we heard that in the future, they're gonna update more cities, add more cities and with DLCs. Uh, yeah, I'm cool with it, as long as the game is fine. But but see, the situation here is that the game probably would have had three cities, like crazy. Oh, I think the game is still gonna have like three cities. People are finding out like three cities, four towns. But I guess those cities are not gonna be that big. Big. I think the game originally was supposed to be three times bigger with four protagonists, although it doesn't mean that four protagonists would have been would have made the story better than what we're now seeing two protagonists. It doesn't mean that, uh, yeah, right? Like, one protagonist, even if you have one protagonist, the game could have can be an amazing experience or a trash experience. It, it doesn't mean that it's going to have four... It doesn't mean that having four protagonists is going to make the game better. Ultimately, it comes down to the story and the plot and the climax. People love climax, though. So. And as we get down to the climax, what's about to come, I think you're really going to like it. Guys, real quick, I want to say I have a second channel. Yay! On this channel, I upload UFO content, conspiracy content every single day, okay? If you are into this topic, you're gonna love this channel. Definitely subscribe. If you wanna help support the channel, consider becoming a member on the channel by clicking the join button next to the subscribe bell so I don't have to go after shitty mobile sponsorships so I can put food on the table. Shout out to all of you beautiful bastards for being a member on the channel. If you're able to, consider becoming a member. I right, let's get back to the content now, boo. Naturally, the question becomes, how sustainable is such realism in the long term? With a larger scale and rumored updates to add more cities and missions, will Rockstar continue down that path, even if it costs more money and takes more time? Amidst these concerns, I think it's important to remember something that Take-Two Interactive CEO Stras Zelnick said about Grand Theft Auto 6 Perfection, release window. Right? And I believe that GTA 10 would be ultra realistic. They're gonna, especially uh, GTA 10 is gonna come out when we're not around. We're all gonna be dead by that time, right? So yeah, GTA 10 coming out when everybody's dead. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but this game, Matrix Awakens is a prime example of ultra-realistic game, but it had nothing to do, and th that's what it was supposed to, what it was supposed to do, right? It was supposed to show you, it was a demo, it was a slice, it was, shows, uh, it was supposed to show you how Unreal Engine 5 uh, is gonna perform and how much they can do with it, and ultimately, I feel like that the reason rockstar games got rid of the idea of three cities miami being one and then two other cities not sure not sure what we heard south america as well right maybe a little bit of brazil uh, and, and parts of that we heard that originally in the oldest one in one of the oldest league i think the reason they got rid of the idea was because hey if they were really gonna pursue that idea dog i can bet you we wouldn't be getting game by before 2030 i think the game at that point would have probably come out around 2030 so five years after holy crap so i'm glad that they're gonna come out with gta 6 as is i hope the game is fun i hope before the game the is fall good quarter was announced we're seeking perfection, and when we feel we've optimized Brett. creatively, that's the time to release. And we're all in this together. In terms of motivation and incentives, the financial incentives of everyone who works at this company are aligned with those of the shareholders. There's inherent tension, potentially, between getting something to market and creating perfection. But this company errs on the side of perfection. Okay. Even after confirming and feeling highly confident in the release window, Zelnik later admitted that delays and slippage can still happen. While Rockstar continues to navigate development, especially in the wake of co-founder, head writer, and VP creative, Dan Hauser leaving in 2020, and the pandemic, there's the overarching sense that such dedication to realism defines its game development philosophy. This is the kind of experience the team wants to make. It yeah. wants to create a venerable life simulator where players can get lost in the world, experiencing it as if they're really there alongside the iconic characters. If this game gets delayed to 2026, it is Joe over. But I would understand, though. But sadly, 
I, 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 I hope not. But this is that video that I was talking about. A guy was caught for leaking GTA 6 trailer, and we're hearing the game is gonna be 30 FPS. We have a bunch of other leaks as well. Check out this video on the screen, and I will see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.